No, because did Christ celebrate his birthday? No. All praises, bro. What's your nationality? What's your nationality? and our people don't even know marriage. We don't even know how to have a successful marriage in the black community. My brother, are y'all married? Y'all married? Y'all married? Uh, not yet. What's that for y'all? Come here, 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 sis. Come here, bro. What's that for y'all for getting married? She just started. Y'all just started? Have y'all had sex? Yes, sir. So I want you to listen to this, bro. Now we coming back to what the Bible, you believe in the Bible? So guess what? The reason why we have uh, how we have disorder in marriages in our community. It's a lot of um, single parent households. It's a lot of divorce in our communities. Why? Because they're not doing it what the Bible says to do. You get what I'm saying? So read that again. What you got? Uh, give me, for, give me he, Hebrews 13 to 4. Give me Exodus 22 and 16 and give me Hebrews 13 to 4. We're not doing what the Bible says to do. Well, a lot of times what we're doing in our marriages, we're winging it. We're thinking, hey, and we're watching television. The women is watching uh, 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 Real Housewives of Atlanta, and they thinking this is how they're supposed to treat their husbands. And guess what the men is doing? we listening to Uzi Vert. we listen to all this wicked music um, that's degrading our women. We're not doing it what God says to do. So what you got? 
If you lay down with a woman, this is what you're supposed to do. Read that. Exodus 22 and 16. If a man entice a maid that is not betrothed. So it says if a man entice a woman that's not betrothed. What does the word entice mean? Seduce. Seduce, right? Seduce. You attracted this woman. You know, you got you had some type of game. This, hey, if you entice a woman, this is what you're supposed to do. Read. And lie with her. And if you have sex with that woman, read. He shall surely endow her to be his wife. You have to make that woman your wife. You sleep with her, you have to make her your wife. Give me that in um, no daughters, no whores of the daughters of Israel. Because if you're sleeping with her, you're not marrying her, what are you doing to her? Where's that at? No, no whores in the daughters of Israel. 20. So this, you're whoring out your sisters, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. We trying to fix the black community, but you cannot fix a community when you're sleeping from woman to woman and woman. And guess what? Eventually what's going to happen to the women? Because they following the woman. Because there's no father in the house. You got it? Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 23 and verse 17. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel. The Bible says there should not be no whores of the daughters of Israel. So if you're sleeping from woman to woman to woman, guess what you're doing? You're whoring out your sisters. You're one of the reasons why the black community is the way that it is. You are the problem in the black community. You get what I'm saying? So now, coming to the Bible, you have to marry this sister. You get what I'm saying? So now, sis, as a woman, do you know how to conduct yourself as a woman? What's your nationality first? African American. When we say we African American, we say we come from two different white men. Leo Sibius Africanus, who conquered Africa during the Seven Punic Wars, and America Vespucci, who America's named after. So I ask you again, what is your nationality? You you don't know. Because a lot of times we'll say what? Black. But guess what? His son, his shorts is black. His pants is black. Are we the same color as that? No, we're not black. So we have to come back to who we are. We don't know who we are. This is why we kill each other. This is why we sell drugs to each other. We don't, this is why we have disorder in marriages. It's because we have no morals, we have no values. Which steals from what? Your customs. Which steals from your heritage. You get me? What you got? Titus chapter 2 and verse 3. The age woman likewise, that they be in behavior as becoming holiness. So, so it's coming back to your heritage, it says the age woman is, she has to be holy. What does it mean to be holy? What does it mean to be holy? Say it loud. You say walking by faith and not by sight. So let's see what the Bible says. Give me Romans 7. Let's see what makes you holy. Bring it out. Guess what? It's the laws of God that makes you holy. You get what I'm saying? So let's read that. Romans chapter 7. Romans. Romans chapter 7. Romans chapter 7 and verse 12. Wherefore, the law is holy. What is holy? The law is holy. So, sis, so you hear that? The Bible says the law is holy. You have to be holy. You have to keep the laws. So my question to you, who is the laws given to? Who is God, God's laws given to? What's your name, sis? Ke Kiana? What's your name? So who was God's laws given to? Israel. Israel? Who was it given to? Who's all his people? Who is his people? You said he's the first nationality, brother. What's your nationality, sis? Christ? Christ? Come here. 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 Come around, come around, come around. I want you to look at these signs. I want y'all to look at these signs. Because we saying God's people. She said his people, but we got to know who is his people. What you got? Give me Matthew chapter 2 and verse 6. Matthew 2 and 6. His people is the nation of Israel. So we have to stop walking around calling ourselves African Americans. You're not a damn African American. You are an Israelite according to the Bible, okay? And we're going to prove that. Keon, we're going to prove that. You said what? You are Moorish American. What does the word more means? 
All it means is black. That's right. White people, white people, they gave us the name Moore, the Romans, because of our skin complexion. Before we called ourselves the Moors, what was we calling ourselves? The Israelites. You get what I'm saying? So now what's y'all to listen? Matthew 2 and 6. Matthew chapter 2 and verse 6. And thou Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor. It says, out of Judah is going to come a governor, which is Christ. Keep on. That shall rule his people. That shall rule his people. Israel. Israel is his people. Israel is his people. So what happened to the Israelites in the last days? What happened to the Israelites? Give me Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. What happened to the Israelites in the last days? Because guess what? You're not going to be able to look in the Quran, and the Quran is not going to tell you who you are. A Quran is not going to tell you what happened to his people. The Torah is not going to tell you? So let's see. The, the Torah is what? The first five books of Moses, right? The first five books of Moses. So that's Genesis, Exodus, Deuteronomy, Numbers. That's not in that order, but that's the Torah, right? So I want you to listen. He just said the Torah is not going to tell him who he is, but I'm going to prove you wrong. I know. I know it's going to tell him, but it's not going to tell the whole aspect of everything because it didn't put all the It didn't put it all in there. Let's see. Let's see. Give me Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass. So this is Moses talking to the Israelites, God's people. Read. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you don't listen to God, read. To observe to do all his commandments. If you don't do all of his commandments, black people, we're not doing all of God's commandments. Last week, black people were just celebrating Easter Sunday. That's nowhere in the Bible. That's idolatry. God says if we disobey him and, and if we don't keep his commandments, read. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. God says if we disobey him, his chosen people, if they disobey him, God is going to put curses on them. So now let's look at the curses that's on the Israelites in the last days. Give me verse 30. Verse 30. Verse 30. Thou shalt be troth a wife. So, so, so you to listen. It says, guess what? The black man, he's going to betroth the wife, meaning he's going to get married, right? In the time of slavery, read. Thou shalt be troth a wife, and another man shall lie with her. Who will lie with our wives of slavery? Who did that? Who lied with the black man wife in slavery? If, if you was in slavery and y'all was married, who would take you out that, out that shack and have sex with you? The so-called white man, right? This is in the Bible. Keep going. Thou shalt build a house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. He says, guess what? We're going to build a house. Who built the big house on the plantation? The slaves did that. Who built the white house? All people did that. You get what I'm saying? But he said, you're not going to dwell therein. This is like, you know, we are God's chosen people. Give me verse 48. Verse 48. Verse 48. Therefore, thou shalt serve thine enemies. God says, because we was disobedient, we have to serve our enemies. When you standing at a bus stop and the transportation is owned by your oppressors, guess what? You are serving your enemies. Anytime you go in the boost mobile, you go in the foot locker, guess what are you doing? You serving your enemies. Cause does does the clothing say made by Negroes? Does it say made by the black man? It says made by your oppressor, made by the Chinese, made by whoever. You get what I'm saying? I want you to listen. Keep going. Therefore thou shalt serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall sin against thee in hunger. The Bible says you have to serve your enemies in hunger. The food that you eat, you got to go to your enemies. Price shopper, Walmart, that's owned by your enemies, right? And in thirst. And in thirst, you have to go to your enemies, right? And in nakedness. The clothes that's on your back, you have to go to your enemies, right? And in want of all things. If you want a driver's license and death certificate, you got to go who? To your enemies. Get going. And he, and he, this enemy of the so-called black and Hispanic is going to do what? Shall I put a yoke of iron upon thy neck? Who put yokes of iron on our necks? Look at the sign, sis. Who did that? Who put yokes of iron on our necks? Who did that? Who race of people? The so-called white man. What we trying to show you, sis, guess what? Black history is in the Bible. And God does not call us African American. He call us his chosen people, the Israelites. Right. So now that you know that you are Israelites, guess what? 
It's certain things that you have to do. You have to come back to your heritage. God gave us a heritage. Rap music is not our heritage. Rap music was given to us by our oppressors. You get what I'm saying? That's why they promote it. That's why they make all the money from it. You get what I'm saying? We have to come back to who we truly are. The they used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.